I think I can speak for everyone when I say that Kingdom Hearts 3 in terms of secret boss fights is very lacking. Lacking in a similar way as Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Not in the worst in the series kind of way like Rechain of Memories as it didn't even have a secret boss fight whatsoever. But nevertheless, when hearing the name Kingdom Hearts 3, it fills players with expectations that could surpass the content in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. The game had 15 secret boss fights in it. Now let me explain. I by no means actually expected the game to have that many secret boss fights. If it did, then that would have been awesome. But I never went in expecting that to happen. But what I did expect was more than one boss fight and having them to be the most challenging boss fight in the entire game. Or even the whole series even. Why not? Again, by no means am I saying Dark Inferno is the worst secret boss in the series, as I feel he's a bit cooler and more interesting than Julius from Dream Drop Distance. But if I'm being honest, there are five more people that would have made awesome secret bosses. Let Prodigy XCD and I convince you. Now starting things off, this one is pretty obvious and one you more than likely have heard from another YouTuber, streamer, or you yourself have already thought about this yourself. But for number 5, I'd love to see the Foretellers make an appearance, each of them fighting with their own unique fighting styles and different Keyblades all inside the Keyblade graveyard, but what make this fight really cool and stand out to me would be to open up a whole new area of the Keyblade graveyard, and in that new area would have 5 different battle portals aligned up with one another and inspecting each of them which show a different foreteller contained within, but though technically I wouldn't want them actually there. I'd rather have those battle portals teleport us to the past and have us fight against the foretellers back then during the original Keyblade War. The world will be dark, in the background we could see clashing keys and the sounds of war completely surrounding us as the rain pours down on us. I feel like having that as a setting for each of the foretellers would fit perfectly. Aside from Ava whose fight could take place in that same area where her and Lushu clash keys, when she confronted him about the possibility of him being the traitor. So the beautiful sky and the gorgeous grass and flowers beneath our feet while facing off against Ava would truly be spectacular. Now look, I know what some of you guys are thinking, Yazora, what? Why? Well, hear me out. Now, what better way to find out more about Yazora, make the fans feel more attached to him or excited for him, than by making him the official secret boss of Kingdom Hearts 3, as our official teaser towards the next saga? Dark Inferno is a cool boss, and I know people are theorizing that maybe he's Ephemer's Heartless or something weird, but final mixes or DLCs for Kingdom Hearts games have always added a big hint towards the next saga in a secret boss. We've had it with the unknown in Kingdom Hearts 1, lingering will in Kingdom Hearts 2, and mysterious figure in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. The secret ending left fans extremely confused, which is what I'm sure Nimura wanted, but instead of leaving fans with a sour taste in their mouth of knowing that some Baron Rex video game from Toy Box is going to be a canon thing later in the Kingdom Hearts series, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that, I would love instead to be given more insight or a chance to find enjoyment out of Yazora to potentially be excited for him through a hard boss fight. I think that would be really cool. You could easily use the arena of Varum Rex and Toy Box as a location to fight him. I heavily look forward to whomever they pick for this role as the secret boss, but my big pick is going to be Yazora because I believe it will be something extremely interesting and even fun. Next we got a bit of a different one here, and that's Arden from Final Fantasy XV. Now I presented this a while back to some friends and some folks over there on Twitter. The answers were pretty split if I'm being honest, though mainly in favor of him not being a secret boss fight. Half the people who shot it down mainly just want a rematch with a certain someone, and the other half of people just don't know Arden well enough to want to face off against him, as they either never beat Final Fantasy XV or never played it to begin with. Though anyone who's aware of who Arden is, or what he's done, or what he's been through would easily see why he takes a spot on this list. Being a diabolical villain set on revenge and the demented persona he tries to hide away would be a dream to see Sora go up against. I'd love to have the setting of the fight be in Insomnia, and the same general area where Noctis fought the final boss. Darkness blanketing the sky while the area is only lit up by nearby streetlights, Sora stands feet away from a deranged and revenge-driven Arden who starts the battle with a quick scene of him grabbing Sora's head and slamming it into the ground, similar to how he did to Noctis 
practice in 15. Sora using his flexibility to slash him away as the two stand face to face once again. Arden summons his king's weapons and they circle around him ready to obey his commands. The two close in on each other and begin to clash weapons with speed that rival the kings. The battle soon takes to the skies as the two continue their fight. The sound of metal clashing over and over making the fight even cooler would be if the player had ultimate form already and using it to combat the many weapons used by Arden. I think having this setting as the base of fighting Arden as a secret boss in Kingdom Hearts 3 would have been astounding. Sephiroth is a boss that has been considered a staple for Kingdom Hearts number of titles, appearing in both Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2, which left fans very surprised when he wasn't a secret boss or even mentioned in the highly anticipated Kingdom Hearts 3. I remember spending days trying to beat the boss in Kingdom Hearts 1, and one of the most satisfying feelings I've ever gotten in gaming was when I beat him for the first time. Sephiroth is a boss that means so much to fans like myself because since growing up with the series, I'm sure a lot of us would agree that Sephiroth is one of the most memorable bosses in the game. Being one of the most popular characters in Final Fantasy as a series, I feel like it was a big missed opportunity by Square Enix, but I do think they have a chance to make up for that missed opportunity by potentially making him DLC that I'm sure a lot of us will be hyped for. Like, just imagine a remastered One-Winged Angel for a DLC Sephiroth boss. Yoko, please do it. I'm still hoping that one day we will finally get to see the battle between Cloud and Sephiroth continue in another Kingdom Hearts game hopefully soon. Lastly, one that I personally haven't heard amongst the community yet is what if Lushu from the past was a secret boss? Similar to before except this time going to Scala at Kylum, solely just for its tie to Daybreak Town as it appears to be built on top of the old town, and upon going there we'd inspect the battle portal we see on the left side. It would warp us to the past where we're right outside of Daybreak Town. Little does Sora know that the Keyblade War is raging on elsewhere, and Lushu explained he's been expecting us. Sora seems confused as he's got no idea who Lushu is, and keep in mind he's got his hood up and in his side his original body. Sora just takes it that he's part of the organization 13. Lushu then will explain that as of right now he's not yet part of the organization but one day he will be. Kind of a future sight into him possessing Zigbar in the future. Having Sora now even more confused, Lushu goes further to say to not take what he's about to do personally as he simply feels the need to test Sora's strength as he's vital to his master's plan. That's when the fight would begin. Him using Xehanort's signature keyblade and face off against Sora in combat with speed and agility of someone Sora has never faced, cloaking himself in darkness as he dashes into Sora, grabbing him and lifting him up into the air and launching volleys of darkness towards Sora as he has to fend off against him with his incredible defense and his highly capable keyblade skills back and forth one another dash across the floor, flower petals dance up into the air setting the scenery. Having a fight like this be the secret boss fight would have made my dream come true even if the details aren't one to one accurate. In no way am I trying to discredit Dark and Inferno for being a secret boss fight of Kingdom Hearts 3. I just wish he wasn't the only secret boss fight of Kingdom Hearts 3, especially when you're comparing this game to Kingdom Hearts 2 which had many more. There are tons of Disney, Final Fantasy, and Kingdom Hearts characters even that also would have made wonderful secret boss fights, and none of these that I mentioned in this video are in any particular order, and I'm 100% sure that many of you have your own list of 5 you'd love to see as secret boss fights in Kingdom Hearts 3, so if you do, please let us know in the comments comment section down below. Prodigy and I will love reading the comments and getting into discussion with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, definitely let us know by hitting the like button so YouTube can recommend this video to others. And if you want to see Prodigy on the channel more alongside more Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, and Zelda content. And hitting the bell after subscribing will make sure you never miss another video again. Again, huge thank you to my good friend Prodigy for joining me in this video. Definitely check out his channel with the link down below or at the end of this video. And again, if you enjoyed, why not share the video? It only takes a second and you'll really help out our community. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Kingdom Ace and remember my loyal knights to always fly skyward.